Hi, it's David Shumi again, and I'm just looking at the VStudio software for the new Valiani CMC mat cutters. In this video, we're having a look at how we cut a double mat. So we go File, New, and when we come down to this size here, we've got 300 by 400. You enter the sizes. You can have a default setting, which is what we have set at 300 by 400. I'm just going to cut one 250 by 300 and I'm going to make it 50 millimeters even all round this time. We click the mat shape that we want to cut so that just gives us a single window. It's cutting with a 40 degree head from the front and up here it shows you the window size. So if you actually wanted to change the window size you can change the numbers here as well and you can actually drag the window around so you can pick it up and you can put the windows in different places but in this example we want to have it in the center we're cutting 50 all round, so I use the centering tool there to put it back into position. So cutting the second layer, they're broken down into layers, so if we want to cut a double mat or a triple mat, we click the little button there and it defaults at 5 millimeters. but if you wanted to have 6, 7, 8, 9, whatever width of mat board there, you can adjust that size. If you wanted a triple mat, you can click the next one and you can say okay well I want a lot of that mat and I want a little bit of this one and you can play around with these sizes to create your multiple layering and it visually shows you what you're going to get. So anyway with two windows here we're going to have that second window five millimeters from the first one. We then go over to cut. I'm choosing left station because we've got a large machine now in this example it would hit one of my buttons here so I could turn that button around or I could go over and I could use the around mode which cuts all the way around. Now in the double mat feature this is something I like. You can use the stacked one where you put more than one board in the machine at a time but I prefer to use this auto cycle and bottom up. So I know it's going to cut from the bottom of the layers first. It's going to cut layer uh, one and then layer two. If you untick one of these, you can see which layer it's actually going to cut. So layer one, I just unticked and it was the white layer, so it was the inner mat. And layer two, there is the outer mat. So we're going to cut both and we're just going to use the auto cycle function to do it. So what I've got to do is click cut and then I'm going to load my machine. So I'll just grab the board. So what I've done is I've put my bottom mat board into the piece, the inner mat board, and then I hit start on the machine, come over and adjust the settings to 14 and 21, hit start, and now it's going to go and cut the inner mat board. This is one thing I actually like about this uh, multiple uh, layering that they've got in the new software, that that's, that's cut my first inner mat. And then what I can do, just put the outer mat board straight in. It just says load material down here on the bottom. So I've stuck the second layer in. And then all I do is hit start. And straight away it's over and cutting the outer mat board. So very quick. You don't have to think about picking this layer or adjusting the second layer. It's just cut the mat boards layered from the inner mat board first in this auto cycle from the bottom up and in my example I used an outside cut by cutting around the outside to cut the board. If I wanted to I could have gone through and actually used linear but I just had a small board here and I didn't want to... Uh, if, if, actually if, if I had used linear and I went cut you can see how it would highlight this as red. Anyway I used that around mode. In the next video we'll have a look at how we apply V-grooves and some more complicated mat cutting. I hope you enjoy this and we'll see you in the next video.